Hello and welcome to my channel. So our walk today in the cemetery, we will be looking at urns, the willow tree, and the head of death, motive meanings of headstones. So let's begin. Now the urn here, it represents the body is turned into dust as the spirit floats away towards God. And the urn with a drape over it represents the veil between the living and the dead. The drape is called a morning shroud that was over Jesus. Now this drape has tassels and it represents the heavy, heavy uh, drapery that the Victorians used in their homes because back in the day funerals were also held at the home and uh, they often covered their mirrors with the heavy drapery as well. So now here we have an urn with grapes. It still represents uh, the body turning to dust, but the grapes add the meaning of uh, the blood of Christ and also the receiving of communion. Now, this one here is called the head of death. The wings symbolize flight to heaven. The words memento more is from the medieval Europeans and was engraved on headstones to remind you that one day that you will also die. Now the willow tree has two meanings. The first is that uh, friends and family are mourning of the deceased and that they will truly be missed. And the second one is that the tree is linked to Christ due to the fact that the tree will flourish no matter how many uh, limbs are cut from that tree. And there's another symbol on this willow headstone in the corners and on the sides. They are the wheels. Now these wheels have two meanings. The first one is the cycle of life with enlightenment and divine power. And that is more the more modern meaning. And um, now, noticing the age of this headstone, it is more likely uh, has the meaning and is called uh, a hexafoil or a daisy wheel. It was for protection against evil. Often, uh, you often see these uh, more in Salem, Massachusetts stones from the 1716 to 1741. The willow in the urn came to replace the momente mori head of death symbol. And all these symbols were popular through the late 18th century to the early 19th century. And that is what I have on the urn, the willow and the head of death, Monte Mori. So if you hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I thank you, and you have a great day. See you again. Bye now.